In today's Your Healthy Family, ahead of the 2019 MDA Muscle Walk in Colorado Springs this coming Saturday, we're getting a brief overview of muscular dystrophy and where the search for a cure stands today. It's a genetic disorder that affects various levels of the muscles. The muscle is pretty complicated. There's lots of proteins that are in the muscle. And so muscular dystrophy is a set of disorders that can affect any specific protein that's within the muscle. And so that's why there's such a broad range, and that's why there's also a very broad range of different presentations as well. In most cases, the disease strikes when kids are young. Most families present around age three to four or so um, when their child is who was able to run before is now not able to. They're tripping and falling more often than they used to. Um, so it would be something more out of the ordinary. They used to be able to climb stairs, but now they're really having a hard time being able to do that. And so that, those are the red flags that bring families in to be evaluated. Muscular dystrophy has many forms and a wide range of effects on quality of life. Best case scenario would be a very slowly progressive type of muscular dystrophy where the lifespan is as your lifespan would be very typical up to 70s or 80s. So it can be debilitating to the point where kids aren't able to get themselves in and out of bed. They w rely on a wheelchair to get around from point A to point B. Families then need to help them with everything. They need to have help with dressing, with getting on and off the toilet, with bathing, turning when they're uncomfortable in their beds. It does affect um, pulmonary function. The more faster progressing type of muscular dystrophies, people can die anywhere from their teens to their 20s. There's no cure for any form of muscular dystrophy, but treatment can make a big difference in some cases. So there's a lot of clinical trials that are out there because we know that this is a genetic disorder. So there's hundreds of genes that are affected. And so people are looking at drugs that can modify these genes. So there are certain muscular dystrophies where there is a drug that can alter a gene that's FDA approved but most things are in clinical trials right now and so the medications that we have currently for patients who don't have the genes that would qualify for a clinical trial or for that specific targeted drug would basically just delay the progression of the disease. Do you see a day when medicine gets this mystery solved? Potentially for certain disorders absolutely yeah I do because they're already there already with some of the diseases so it's pretty exciting times that we're in. Supporting research is just one reason to come to the Muscle Walk this Saturday in Colorado Springs. If you support this cause, you're supporting all aspects of the disease. So you're not only supporting research behind trying to find a cure for the multitudes of different uh, causes, but the other piece of it is also to provide funding for MDA to provide support for families as they're going through it right now before there's even a cure for their disease for summer camps. Um, MDA also does a lot of education for the community as well and can support a newly diagnosed child where they have to explain that to their friends and so MDA is there for them to help with that piece of it and so they're really there for the families to be able to help them through this process and connect them with each other. Hi, right, pick them up. In tomorrow's story, I'll introduce you to a Colorado Springs husband and father living with muscular dystrophy. And for more of my conversation with Dr. Pierce and a link to the Muscle Walks webpage, head to the online version of this story. Hope to see you out at John Venecia Park this Saturday morning for your healthy family. I'm Ira Cronin. For more health stories, head to yourhealthyfamily.com.